The depletion of the world's forest cover is thought to play a major role in global warming. Scientists estimate that tropical forests around the world hold up to 575 billion metric tons of carbon in trees and soil. Carbon which would be released into the atmosphere if the forests were cut down. Nexon is a Canadian-based global energy company that has been operating for more than 30 years. The company explores, develops, produces and markets crude oil, natural gas and electricity. While historically the oil and gas industry has not viewed environmental sustainability as being of primary corporate concern, for years Nexon has been looking at ways to cut its carbon footprint. Nexon's frequently asked about how much we invest in, in climate related uh, activities. And the fact is that it's not a, how much you invest, it's what you invest in and how they are aligned with your strategic opportunities a, as a company. We find that uh, making investments in direct emission reductions from our operations is an effective way to manage your compliance. But at the same time, we're looking for other opportunities because we re yet don't know what the compliance regimes are going to be in the countries that we work in. As part of this effort, Nexon is investing in the Rio Bravo Carbon Sequestration Project, a unique carbon offsetting program located in Belize in Central America. In 2007, Nexon invested 486,000 US dollars towards the expansion of the Rio Bravo project, and the land purchased was added to an already existing conservation and management area, and is home to over 200 species of trees, 390 species of birds, and 80 species of mammals. Program for Belize a non-governmental organization owns and manages the subtropical broadleaf forest the Nexon project has now added to. The Rio Bravo project stores carbon dioxide from the atmosphere in two ways. One, by purchasing two parcels of land and avoiding its clearance, its destruction and burning an emission of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Secondly, it uh, stores carbon dioxide from the atmosphere by the improved forestry practices that encourage tree growth and tree regeneration. Program experts quantify the carbon offsets generated by the project through forest inventory, soil science and ecological principles and practices such as calculating the amount of biomass within the forest. The impact of the Rio Bravo project on mitigating carbon dioxide at this point is estimated at around 11 million U.S. tons of sequestered equivalent carbon dioxide over a period of 40 years. The Rio Bravo project also promotes ecotourism and manages a sustainable hardwood logging industry, in the process creating much needed employment for locals. In addition, a research facility has been built to house scientists interested in studying tropical ecosystems. Along with offsetting carbon emissions, the project also has a number of secondary benefits. These range from forest habitat and biodiversity conservation to improved soil and water quality. The Rio Bravo project uh, emission reductions for Nexon will probably be about 10% of what uh, our emission reductions have been to date. Uh, since the late 1990s, we think we've reduced our emissions by somewhere between 1.5 to 2 million tons of CO2 equivalent. Back at home in Canada, Nexon is looking at non-traditional sources of energy to help further reduce its greenhouse gas emissions. The Soda Glen Wind Project is a joint venture between Nexon and the GW Power Corporation. Under the partnership, 47 wind turbines were built in Alberta, Canada, producing 70 megawatts of power per hour, enough electricity to supply as many as 50,000 homes. The project carried out extensive environmental reviews to ensure best practices when building and operating the turbines, including migration studies to ensure operations will have the least impact on birds and animals in the area. Under the Kyoto Protocol, Canada committed to reducing greenhouse gas emissions by 6% from 1990 levels by 2012, a hefty goal by the government's own admissions, with current levels 31% above the Kyoto target.
projects such as Nexon's Soda Glen Wind Project is a step in the right direction for Canada. And Nexon insists it is through such commitment that the industry will be able to continue growing by working hand-in-hand -hand with government and helping to meet environmental targets.